it's nighttime and I don't normally do this at night but hello ladies and welcome back to still looking good 58 I am faith and messing around with my natural hair I have a review for you of a wig that's fairly new and um, I'm gonna show it to you in a minute but first I'm gonna take this out so I can brush my hair and get it ready for the cap this wig is um, it's from Sensationnel, and it's from the Butter Lace collection. Um, I've only done one other Butter Lace wig, and that was a wig that was sent to me by Sam's Beauty some time ago. I'll link it up there. And that was the only one that I ever did, and I didn't really like that wig, to be honest. It was very silky, and um, it just wasn't me. I think it was Butter 13, <laughs> yeah. 13 pretty much says it all right so it wasn't like it wasn't really a wig that I liked or thought that was going to be a good fit for me so and again as you can see I have not braided my hair down so I'm going to try to make this thing as low as possible um yeah so I hope you guys are doing well um I've been working a lot and I'm tired um today was fairly busy and there's all kinds of changes going on at work you know you guys know when you're working all kinds of things be going on so I'm gonna put this black cap on I'm gonna put it back a little bit further so that it's not like interfering with the with the wig when I put it on so yeah so let me show you her this is the wig she is called butter lace Bob 12 inches and I have her in the color that's on the stock card and that color I think how come I never know what the color of these wigs are Biolage Caramel that's what it is it's Biolage Caramel okay and she's supposed to be a HD lace uh, and it says what lace on here which I think is interesting because I didn't think that the butter lace wigs were the wet lace wigs I thought there was butter lace and then there was wet lace but it says what lay oh no oh, okay okay in very small print it says from the makers of what lace so get it together faith so this isn't what lace this is butter lace by the makers of what lace okay so i got her because a lot of the butter lace wigs are too long for me and this one being a bob is not so uh, and i also wanted to see if this lace was going to be as nice as the um um what lace because as you guys know that what lace fits me fine that lace is not too ashy for me okay so here is butter 12. she feels a little heavy in the cap part i don't know why but she does but anyway this is her in this biolage caramel she's a middle part and i'm just going to show you the inside she's a middle part but look you could probably part her in a side part some kind of way or some kind of a curved part because of the way this lace is so it's not necessarily doesn't necessarily have to be exactly in the middle the way they've got this set up which is kind of nice um it uh, has two combs on both sides of that lace and then there's a comb in the back and there is adjustable straps okay so yeah um i got my hot comb at the ready so I'm going to put her on. Uh, I think I'm going to put a um, wig grip on. I haven't been wearing my wig grip lately. And I'm trying to find the one that I have that's got the lace thing in the middle. I don't know where it went. I have to go find it. But I know I have one. I have a feeling I'm doing this wrong. Yep, right. Okay. So, yeah. So, yep. Okay. So I got this thing on. So, and you know what? These, to me take up more room in terms of making the wig snug so if you don't if you've got a bigger head I wouldn't really wear a wig grip okay I see the things falling off in the back anyway okay so here she is she's tight she's tight so let me take this wig grip off because she's tight and you guys know I have a 22 inch head and uh, I do not believe that the straps are connected. Um, are they? 
Yeah, okay. I'm going to unconnect the straps back here, too. All right, yeah, there's something about what's inside of here. It's kind of hard that's bugging me, but anyway. All right, so here we go again. Okay, she feels better now. So, I mean, you know, typical bob action going on here. But again, I like the fact that there's an option to part it differently. I'm going to dip my... And so, okay, so I got it in the middle part now. But I'm just going to see how much of this is available. Ooh, not much. Look at that. So, yeah, so um, not much of it is available to make a part on the side. It looks a little weird when you try to do it that way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It may be better to just either, you know, keep it in the middle. Yeah, that's not working right. So maybe they set it up where it really isn't going to work that way. But um, I would think that you would be able to um, at least maybe curve it or something. I don't even know if it'll curve. It should curve. But the front of it, I don't know, the front of it doesn't look good to me for some reason. Even if you tried to curve it, the front of it doesn't look good. So we're going to stick with the... Yeah, it just looks real like lots of grid going on, you know. And I'm wondering, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and make a space in my own hair. And that might help. You know, I do that sometimes. Let's see if that helps this situation. Yeah, that's better. Then it's not sitting on uh, just hair. She brushes out nice. Look at that. Now she's going all over the place because I don't have the wig grip on. But she's not the kind that you need to glue down. There's really nothing there. I mean, you could, but, you know, I don't think it's really necessary. So I'm going to... Um, take some of this wax stick she's got a few I mean the hair is kind of all over the place I wouldn't necessarily say it was flyaway but it's kind of everywhere so I'm gonna um, just do this real quick and just use my hot comb real fast to see if I can uh, you guys know me in this hot comb have a battle because of that button but I'm gonna try and heat this down a little bit I like the length of her though and I'm going to show you the 360 shortly I'm just going to try to lay this down a little bit on both sides so it doesn't like go all over the place but yeah like I said I don't have a lot of experience with these butter wigs because I've only tried the one other than this one But she, she does not need um, to be glued if you don't want to glue her. And she has a little bit of a bump. She has a little bit of a bump. If you like that, that's fine. If you don't like it, then you might not like her. Okay, so let me just show you. This is what she looks like. And I'll just show you what she looks like on the side and the back. Here's the back. So the color, the biolage part, you can kind of see how it's um, got the blonde coming down here and here. And if you kind of look on the inside of it, look at that. On the inside of the hair, you can see more of the blonde than uh, you can uh, on the outside. <laughs> which I think is interesting. So I'm thinking that maybe if you were the kind of person who, you know, if you did want to glue it down, you could do like this and you can see the different color better. You could see the blonde and caramel mixed together better if you do it like that. I mean, like, you know, you could take your own edges out. You know, you might want to do a little gluing right there. But, uh, yeah.
Yeah, see, she's she'll lift over here on this side if you if you wear her back like that, she'll lift on that side. But uh, I like it. I think it's pretty. And uh, actually, I do like the fact that I can uh, just have some of my edges out on the side because, like, if you took I got the black can. If you took this and just put a little bit, I guess, ooh, that doesn't look like a little bit, does it? And just kind of stick it, you know, just do a little stick action on both sides of this, you know. Not a whole lot, but just enough to kind of get it to lay down on both sides. And then maybe, um, then maybe you could, um, do that even lower down here unless you know unless you're fine with just like it being like that i don't always like to put this um spray on my actual hair here um i mean not that it's that big a deal it's not that like it won't um uh, you know come off because it will but yeah you could do that you could just have uh yeah it's not going down Yeah. Let's keep it down there. I need to get some heat on this to really make it stay. But yeah, that's it's kind of cute like that. Just maybe behind your ear. So that you can see the blonde. You know? A little bit. And I guess you could even just do like, you know, I do sometimes is just do it like that and bring it forward. But I mean, doing it like that, you still don't really get to see the blonde that much. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it's nice if you just kind of put it a little bit behind your ear and let your edges out on the side. I think that's cute. And over here you could do the same thing. And again, if you want to glue them down where your actual hair is, like you guys know, I have a lot of hair by my ear. I'm not like some people who can just, you know, spray their foreheads and it all works out. That's not the way it works for me. So I'm going to um, find my powder brush so that I can put... Um, some powder in the part of this. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and I kind of like that you can, like I said, you can still see your own edges and be able to see the um, the blonde in the hair. Yeah. But yeah. Just gluing this part down maybe. If you don't have a lot of hair like I have, you can do that. But I think she's cute. I do. I just love the way the color is, is performing on this one. And it's a bob, so I mean, you can't really go wrong with a bob. But uh, yeah, for this one, because I have so much hair um, here, I would have to lay the lace down on top of my own hair if I'm gonna lay it down um, because of the fact that it's like right there. Same on this side. You can't really see it that easily, but it's, it's noticeable, like when the wind blows or whatever. So I would probably just do like I did, is just put a little bit of um, adhesive up here and in, you know, like right in the middle. And then if you want to just wear it all in your face, you know, you can just do that. Or if you want to see those colors, you can pull it out. So um, because, I mean, I am 5'8", five 5'8 eight, five eight and a half. But my neck is not like abnormally long, so it will probably fall on you the same as it falls on me as far as where it is at my shoulders. I do like this little gold that comes down the front here. 
but uh, yeah, she's she's pretty. She is, and she's um, what I forgot to tell you is that she's a human hair blend. She's a human hair blend, so she's probably supposed to be good with heat. I like this. Look at that. I like the blonde underneath here. I think that is so cool. I really wish it was more on the top though than on the bottom. I mean, because you know, I, I, people need to see that. You know, it's not it's not showing as much out here. You know, it's not showing as much out here. But you know, you pull it back. Look at that. You pull it back, and it's all, you know, it's all back there. Which is, you know, it'd be different if this wig was uh, a real ear to ear. Because again, if the lace was coming like a lot closer to the front of my head, uh, I wouldn't have to think about gluing it back here. But that's where I have to glue it because the way it's sitting, it's like right on my hair. Now, again, if I didn't have this punch in the back of my head, that might make a difference. Um, so I'll probably try it again and take that hair out. But my hair, my husband doesn't want me to cut it. And since that's the case, I've got to find some creative ways to make this work. Because, yeah, he doesn't want me to cut it. I was going to cut it again, real short, but nope. Not in this household. <laughs> so anyway, here is, um, here's the way it looks. And I like it. I just, I think it's really pretty. I just wish, I wish that it was a frontal so that I could um, part it wherever I want. Um, I'm not real crazy about the fact that I can only part it in the front. Uh, I mean, in the middle. But because I'm loving this, I'm, I would love to have it to be more of a left side part if I could get that. But I really hate that they hid this blonde underneath here like that because it really needs to be seen. It does. So you guys tell me what you think. Um, she is, she's not silky to me. She's like a light yakky. And, you know, she, she's a light yakky. She feels really good. And like I said, the cat feels fine. You know what, this black stuff, as you saw, I didn't even use a hair dryer and it's sticking. <laughs> it's sticking without the hair dryer. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> I guess if I had put it on my hair um, over here, then that would be fine. It would uh, actually hold it down. But yeah, this, uh, this is the truth right here. This even lace bond black. And I'm glad I got the little can because it's hard for me to handle that big one. Oh, you know what I also did? I bought some of this. I know you guys are probably like, what you need that for? But you know, there are some wigs that I am finding that I need to put this on. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to. It's called an It's Natural Beige, which is the lightest color they've got. But there are some wigs that still look ashy on me. Um, of course, the dark ones, there's nothing I can do with, as you know. But the lighter ones, there are some light ones that are still kind of ashy on me. Like that um, Brazella wig. That Brazella wig, that lace is, is ashy even on me. So um, I'm going to spray this on. I did sell one of my Brazella wigs, but the other one I'm keeping, and I'm going to spray this on there to see what it looks like. But yeah, this is natural beige, which is the lightest color that they make. I almost didn't think they even had one that was light enough, but it looks pretty light. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this, you guys. I'm, I'm feeling this color. I just wish that this inside was more on the outside. But it's just, it's a nice bob. It's an, and I also wish that I could part it in more than one place. I wish I could side part it, because you know, guys know I'm loving a side part. But it's just not, I mean, you could do it, but it just, it looks like there's a lot more grid. You know, if you did try to do it, it just looks like there's a lot more grid under there. It just doesn't look the same to me. It should because the lace is all in one spot, but I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So we we'll have to watch some other people review this wig and find out what they think about it or how they're doing it, if they do a side part at all. But look at that. When you turn sideways, look at that. That is so crazy. You turn sideways and you see all that pretty blonde. It's just, yeah. It's like, okay, hey, everybody, you're going to go into the place, you, you know, go into the restaurant and do like that so people can see the inside of your hair. I don't know, but yeah, this is pretty, but I just really wish they put that blonde on the outside. 
well enough of that if you guys are interested in butter lace unit human hair bob 12 inches i'll put the information down in the description section for you thank you guys so much for watching oh and she oh she's kind of a shedder uh-oh she's kind of a shedder i didn't say that but i'm telling you now she's kind of a shedder not a lot but yeah there's hair here there's hair in my brush and there's hair uh, on my lap right now so yeah so she sheds but you know what they say you know blonde wigs do that they just they shed if you get a blonde wig it's just gonna shed and that's all there is to it but this is cute and this would be great for work it'd probably be really nice on like a four or a two you know to wear to work but I, I find myself constantly doing this so that I can look at the blonde underneath <laughs> because I like the blonde underneath, yeah. And again, like I said, I would probably end up like taking the hot comb and making it, you know, I could probably do that, I guess, now if I want to. Since I got the hot comb on, I can just make it go back some so I could see the blonde. Yeah, yeah make it go back so I can actually see the blonde yeah. I don't know I had this on what is this on five this is on ten and like I said it's a human hair blend so it should be taking heat well maybe more than synthetic wigs do but yeah yeah so i guess you could kind of do that to see a little bit more of the blonde yeah that's better that kind of lets you see more of the blonde doing it that way but uh anyway but it's not going to be nice and neat you know it's not going to be nice and neat but that at least lets you see a little bit more of it so yeah so okay and again um you're going to want to glue it down a little bit if you're going to do this you're going to want to glue it down um around the perimeter because I didn't glue this side down I just glued the other side down I glued part of this down but not in the front and um, yeah because I'm not wearing it anywhere it's nighttime about to go to bed but um, this is a beautiful wig um, beautiful color beautiful texture beautiful length so if you guys are interested in her I'll put the information down in the description section for you what is that yeah. and um, thank you for subscribing if you have not done so please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads and as I always say ladies if you can show love to anyone today please show it to the creator I'm still looking good and of course so are you see you next time